Good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Take. I'm your host and moderator, Carrie Champion, sitting next to Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. We have a special guest, but before we get to that, we want you to know, that, yes, we will talk about the Lakers. Dwight and D'Antoni sounding off, as well as the Heat. They lost to the Wizard, and LeBron James did play. That headline is not incorrect. All of that later in the show. But first, we've promoted it, and he's here. Chad Johnson joins us. It's been a while. Welcome back to First Take. Good to be back. Welcome back. Definitely. What's up, big boy? Anytime I have the opportunity to be in the presence of you two at the same time, I know it's going to be a good day. Hey, it's going to be a good day. Be a good you day. put our show on the map. <laughs> well, let me say this. Let me say this. I hope you feel that way after we ask you the yeah. bevy of questions that we ask you, because obviously you being a six-time Pro Bowler, 11-year NFL career, uh, not being in the NFL in this day and age, mm -hmm. you've made news for other reasons. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we've had an opportunity to talk to you uh, since the incident involving mm -hmm. your wife that ultimately led to you getting cut by the Miami Dolphins. For our audience here, particularly for females like Carrie Champion mm -hmm. and Jamel Hill and others, we'd like to know, in your words, what happened? What happened was a mistake. That's what happened. A mistake that I've continuously apologized for, for the people that I've hurt, including my wife. I've stated that numerous times. You know, you've heard it. I think me continuing to say sorry sort of drowns it out. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I, I've accepted responsibility for my actions, you know, especially with her. You know, I apologize to my family, my friends, the players I let down, the Dolphins organization, everybody, you know, including you. You know, both of you, I've talked to both of you on the phone uh, numerous times, Stephen, and let you know why I'm fighting for my wife the way I am, mm. you know, because I know I'm in the wrong. Perception on the outside, everybody sees this one way. Okay, you got cut, you know, there was a the domestic dispute, for one, which was all my fault, mm -hmm. because I'm living life the way it shouldn't be lived, mm -hmm. which is why I lost everything I did, mm -hmm. because that man upstairs is, let me bring you back a little bit, because mm -hmm. you're living a little, a little too wild, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, it is what it is. I made the bed, I'm laying in it, you know? And, you know, I, pay, I paid the price for what I did wrong. So, are you saying that five weeks into your marriage, with her. No, we're, you, not, we're you, not talking about five weeks. We're talking about life in general. Okay. In but, general. but specifically, you said it was all your fault that you and, precipitated. And when, when, is, when, is, when is it not the man's okay, fault? Okay, but, but she accused you. Oh, of, I can think of many occasions yeah. of that. Well, well, go ahead, Skip. Go we're, ahead. We're, we're talking about my situation, okay, right? Okay. We're talking what, about my situation. What precipitated the final incident? Had mm -hmm. you been unfaithful to her because she said that you were? Yes. That's okay. where everything stemmed from. From Remember? that. Okay. Okay, but Chad, what's your stance on domestic violence? Uh, you, know, you said it, it was is, a domestic it's, it's, dispute, but yeah. hold on. She, she, she gave a couple of interviews, mm -hmm. and she talked about, and she quoted, she said, mm -hmm. at one point the relationship was arguing and physical. She didn't allude to anything else. We need to know your stance, especially in light My of what happened is, with the Belcher My stance is wrong. It's wrong. I mean, it, it's common sense, but I, I've, I've made mistakes, as we all have. I mean, don't, don't, you know, don't crucify me because we all sin differently. Because we all do. Yeah, but let me let me interject because I, I don't think you're quite understanding. I mean, right. there are clear, there, there, clearly, mm -hmm. you feel you you deserve to be criticized to some degree, and I respect Always. that. I respect that. But let me be very very clear about my position. First of all, you just acknowledged to skip, you know, infidelity. I ain't asked that question because I personally believe that's none of my damn business. You understand? What you let me finish? What you do? with your wife in terms of your relationship is your business. Mm -hmm. All right, I think something like that is your business. What we were talking about here was what led to you being in jail overnight. That mm -hmm. became the public's right. business. And in the aftermath of that, it seems to me like she's been all over, I don't want to say the lecture circuit, but my Lord, she's on TV just as much as we are, you know, lamenting the state of affairs. So whatever level of privacy that you thought you should have clearly is not the case right now. Do you still think feel? About, think about. I'm asking. Think about my life in general. All right. What have I ever done privately? Think about it. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Not my marriage. Not the way I play the game. Not the way I live my life. So when things go south and go sour, it should be the same way. It should be out there in the public eye. Okay. I'm no saint. I'm no angel. I never proclaimed to be. I was squeaky clean for a long time, which is why I was able to get away with some of the stuff that I've done. You know what? Finally, I have to humble myself. I'm not complaining. I'm not fussing about being cut. I made the bed. I'm going to lay in it. I'm going to play again. I would think and I would hope so. If I don't, I am fine with walking away. You're fine with walking away from the game of football? I don't have a choice. 
What am I gonna do? Fuss? Knock down the doors? Beg? Child, do you please. feel you deserve another chance? I would hope so. Everybody deserves a second chance. I never, I'd never been in trouble when it came to this NFL except when it came to fines. Mm -hmm. That's about it. I would hope I get a second chance, but if I don't... You think you, you deserve know? a second chance at everything? You think you deserve a second chance with her as well as the NFL? Most Your life off the court is now being obviously put into play, right. off, off the field. So tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. what you think you're doing off the field no, off, off since the, this incident okay. that's happened that's changed everything. I mean, since the incident, of course, I've getting the, the necessary help. You know, I've been going to my domestic violence classes. I've been, uh, of course, I'm, I'm still training, still training. And that's about all I can do, just living life, just learning from my mistakes. You know, it is funny that my, now that my life has slowed down, I've been able to see so many things a lot clearer, you know, and, is, and you don't see it the way I've been able to see it now because everything is going so well. Everything is smooth. You got, you know, football, you got money coming here, you're doing this, you're doing that. But until it was all taken away from me, I could see the bigger picture. Well, let's see, the, the clarity that I'm looking for, and maybe you two can help me here because this is where I'm lost. Are you saying that you were wrong because of the incident itself in question? Or are you saying you were wrong because the way you've been living your life all mm. of these years, you just feel like I mean, you're mm. just heaping a whole bunch of guilt on yourself? What is it that you Why feel wouldn't I about? sit here and tell you I'm wrong if I'm wrong? I'm behind them closed doors. Mm -hmm. you, you, everyone has their perception of what they feel that happened. And you say what you want. You say what you want to say based off what you see and what you might hear. If I'm the one telling you I'm in the wrong and been in the wrong since day one, you wouldn't listen to me and go along with that? I am I'm not going to sit, I'm not going to sit up here and be like, yeah, it's her, but no, I, excuse me, I almost cursed. <laughs> almost cursed. I messed up. I right. messed up. Right. Period. Well, let's get to the bottom of domestic violence. She indicated that in anger before this last incident, that, that you had gotten physical with her. I, I don't know if that means definition of pushing or shoving or grabbing, but did Chad Johnson have any history of domestic violent tendencies toward women? Yes, I've gotten in trouble before in the past. I've gotten in trouble, I mean, long, I'm, I'm not sure what year, what year this was, 97. You had one at, at Oregon yeah. State? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, actually, I was, a, I was a Santa Monica, matter okay. of fact. Yeah. Look, I appreciate your contrition, and uh, clearly you feel bad for what happened. But when, I, when he says, yes, did you have a history, what are you doing besides taking domestic violence classes? Well, some, You're this, changing your life? Are you a new person? What's happening? What are you doing to show people that it's not what right? I, what I can do, the only thing I can do right now is get help for the problem that I've had. And right now, right now that is domestic violence classes. We're, anything any further than that, I'm not sure, but right now the court says you have a 26 week program that you need to get through before you do anything else mm. with your life. Okay, so when you heard the news in Kansas City over the weekend, what was your first reaction? Oh, it, it, was, it was sad. I, I'm trying to think about at, at what, what is going on. We don't know the personal reasons behind the issue. Why, why did it happen? Why did he take his girlfriend's life. You know, I, I remember sending out prayers, the rest and priest prayers for, for him and his girlfriend. And then I got the, the, the terrible backlash of why are you saying for him to rest in peace when he just, and I, I don't know what happened. None of us know what happened, but it's a subject I really can't touch on, not to that extent. Do, do you have, as, as someone who had abused women before, did you have any sympathy for him because he had a problem with abuse? Is that? Did, did he, that he's had a problem with abuse? I, 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 I don't know. I don't yeah, know no, but I'm saying, is, is that what hit you first is that you felt for him because you can identify with him? No, I didn't think about it like okay. that. I'm thinking about the situation at hand, him taking his life, him taking his girlfriend's life, or wife for that matter. Mm -hmm. We have a three month old that's left behind. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking about. You empathized with him in other words, to some degree? In terms of what he must have been going through emotionally to make him do something? I don't know. I don't know. What, it, what was he going through? I don't know. I mean, at I, I, what point is it that bad where you have to take your girlfriend's life, let alone your own? Well, you tweeted, you said you've paid your price, so to speak, and that mm -hmm. you, uh, after today's incident in reference to Belcher, mm -hmm. you want your family back. Yeah, I do. Okay, so... I, it, 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 when I think about it, I lost everything, right? Perspective over something that really didn't mean nothing. Nothing at all, I, at all. Let me finish, let me finish. The incident didn't mean anything? No, no. 
You know, are you listening to me? Yeah. Listen I, to what I'm saying. I lost everything. Yeah. Football, my wife, the family I had over something that didn't really mean anything. I, do I have to describe what the something is or can you just put it together? Oh, the, okay, oh, I get it. Uh, skip, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Come on, stay well, that, with me now. Well, stay with me. I, I, I'm staying with you. Uh, I wanted to get back to the Belcher portion of it all because mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the low point, losing your family, losing the things that you love, losing the NFL career that mm -hmm. you had. I'm not asking you whether you went as far as to, you know, you thought about doing what Belcher did, but, but what, what depths did you sink to in, your, in the crevices of your own mind? My depth that I sunk to is how in the world can you be wrong, me? How can I be wrong and get confronted and beat you getting mad and I messed up? That's my, oh, that's my issue. That's always been my issue. How am I in the wrong? I would still be playing for the Dolphins today if I said, you know what? Baby girl, I'm sorry. I apologize. There's no reason this shouldn't have happened. Really? You think you would have still been playing for if the I, Dolphins? If, you know, if it didn't escalate. Did stay with me, Steve. I am staying with you. If... Go ahead. I nipped it in the bud and apologized instead of beating her, getting mad, and allowing my anger to escalate to that point, there wouldn't be an issue, is what I'm saying. You're not staying with me, are you? I'm staying with that. No, you're not. I'm, yes, I am. I heard that part. I guess I'm thinking along the lines. Why wouldn't I be there if I wouldn't have went to jail? If I nipped everything in the bud That's in the smart. privacy of that smart car? Are you, are you seeing what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Okay. I guess I'm thinking along the lines of, even in the aftermath of it all, uh -huh. had you showed the level of contrition then mm -hmm. that you're showing now, mm -hmm. as opposed to saying, you know, it was an accidental headbutt or whatever the case may be, and then telling Philbin, you know, that you had never been in an, itch, in an issue before. Maybe then you still would have been he with the NFL. They didn't care about that. They didn't care about that. They didn't care about that. That's TV. Mm -hmm. It was more about that show. They weren't worried about wins. I can help you. Regardless of what you've seen, regardless of what I've done, from my my from what I understand, didn't someone just get arrested for the Dolphins last week, week before last? I'm not sure if it's not for uh, sure. Someone just, just got arrested for the Dolphins okay. for whatever reason. It doesn't matter, but he's still on that team. My first time getting in trouble. I'm gone. I'm not complaining. I'm not. You know. Again, I made the bed. I'm laying it. But I'm just saying, I messed up. Okay, but Here, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Okay, but on Philbin, you're saying he was just grandstanding for the cameras? I don't cameras? know what Philbin was there. I don't, I, don't, I don't really care. I said that situation is over, you know? I thanked him for the opportunity he gave me, and I just but let it go. But you said that was just TV. What, what do you mean by that? I don't know. It just seemed like it well, to me. Well, you, you the know cameras something. Aren't, the cameras, we'll aren't, what's, what's the, in the cameras aren't rolling now, but someone just got arrested, but he still has a job. That's funny. That, well, that's funny. Uh, well, you did say you're Chad Johnson. Chad, who am I? And because I, of that, you live in your whole life who, is in who, public. Who, so as a result of that, who, that might be a reason. Who am I? I'm no special. I put my pants on just like any other NFL player. I've gotten in trouble just like any other but NFL. Listen, I'm not. Don't let me interrupt me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. People are going to get in trouble after me. It's going to keep happening because we're all human. We're all going to make mistakes. Okay, all right. Now you need to listen because I wasn't going there. Oh, okay. I was no going bad. to. I apologize. No, no problem. I was going to a different point. You talked about how you live your life mm -hmm. in public. Always. So what I'm saying to you is the mere fact that you were a quote unquote public figure, not mm -hmm. just an NFL player, but right. a public figure because of how you lived your life. Mm -hmm. The fact is you might have been cut so they could send a message to you that would resonate to everybody else. That's where I was going. You, you, and I'm saying, is that possible? You're about right. I think, I think you're right. And I think it might have been filming also establishing an atmosphere of no tolerance of any nature, regardless to who you are. You got to go. Everybody's expendable. Didn't he tell you that to start no, with? No. I mean, that's just the message I, I was thinking. So based on the message that you just elocuted, that you received from Philbin based on his actions, mm -hmm. does that mean that anywhere you go from this point forward, You'll take that lesson with you? Yeah, and I, I would think so. I learned my lesson, really, after losing it all. It kind of puts everything in, in perspective. Well, I don't think I'm going to do anything else wrong. Wait a minute. Because before, I mean, take the incident aside. Yeah. I'm saying to you, the public, mm -hmm. the public Chad Ochocinco is also a six-time Pro Bowler who's been in the NFL 11 years. I've been sitting there screaming with Skip Bayless for three years, that uh, two years, rather, that New England, you let New England steal 